by a bunch of fucking shitheads who ain't worth a fuck. But I noticed when I Google my C Love High at C Love High Street, I find nothing but links to slandering ass videos. Not one. It's either someone making a cartoon out of my face and thinking shit's funny, and all oh, it's just a joke parody, or it's just some corny shit that ain't even true. It's always fun to be able to face your enemies with the simple facts that you know that, that what they're saying about it isn't even true. I laugh at you guys because you guys are that fucking stupid. That you've allowed yourself to be manipulated to the point where now you're trying to get plays off of it. You're trying to get clout off of it. Defamation. You guys are literally supporting people who disrespected my mom's ashes. Someone that when I publicly announced that my mom died. He publicly slammed my mom on YouTube by calling her a whore. And all kinds of disgusting shit. I find it very strange. That you guys have so much to say about people that you never met in your whole life. Very strange. I feel sorry for you people. I'm not mad at you. I understand that you have to do the monkey see, monkey do. You have to do what everybody else has already tried to do to me. Because you feel like that's what's going to get you placed. I get it. When you don't have an identity and you need place. You need validation on YouTube from strangers. It's the only thing that makes you feel like that you have hope in life. When deep down people know that you guys are just losers who don't have lives. You try to beat others down because you're trying to build yourself up by destroying other people. You guys are just, you guys are just, this child is fucking shithead, that's all. It's all just a funny little joke to you guys, huh? Okay. And I would really like to know how these stupid videos that are being made about me, how the fuck is it going to affect my life? It doesn't. Cause y'all don't know me. And I don't know y'all. So given that validation, every time I say that, you know what Shredder does? Oh, I got somebody that knows you from your childhood. They want to prove what they're saying so bad that they will literally bring people claiming that these are people who knew me and they won't. It wasn't. Why would you have to me for child molestation? I worked with him. He didn't know me. And why would you get that security officer who was putting teardrops, eye drops in people's drinks at work and he lost his job? You guys go after people who potentially are real child molesters. Why would you even act like it? with those people. I don't get you. So far, you found nobody who, who can validate what you're saying about me. So far, you've got nowhere with your crap whatsoever. So far, after seven years of me daring you to find some evidence, you found nothing. And the only thing that I find when I search my name on Google 
There's edited audio for me to print. I find that very funny. Ha ha ha. I feel sorry for you people. An exposed chomo, huh? I've never seen an exposed chomo that don't have any victims, never had any charges, and never been arrested for such said crimes. I've never seen such a exposed chomo ever in my life. As far as I've ever seen, if someone was an exposed chomo, um, they were basically found guilty somehow. Whether it's evidence presented or a judge finding them guilty. That's an exposed chomo. Not somebody like me who's been lied on. That's not exposed anything. That's called slander. Get your fucking phrases right. It's called slander, you idiots. There's a difference between being slandered and being exposed. Big fucking difference. And learn the difference, assholes.